Hey guys, it's me, Gundam Lover254, and today I will be doing a review of the Master Grade 1 100 scale. Um, what's your name? What's your name? You're, you're, you're Crossbones Gundam, that's what you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, alright, so this is the, um, this is the, um, Normal one, this isn't the, uh, Verka, this is the original one with, like, the F91 frame and all that crap. We're falling over. We're seriously falling over. Jeez, uh, let's try... Damn. Uh, yeah. Let's try that. Damn, it actually worked. Damn, I guess not. Sorry if you hear sorry if you hear screaming in the background. My parent my mom and my sister are watching a favorite show of theirs. Anyway, so um just before I did this review, I uh paneled this guy best as I could. Used my um anti smudge technique and this is probably going to be like a four parter. This one's probably going to have articulation-wise, um, maybe weapons, um, second will probably be, um, uh, second's probably going to be the, um, full cloth, and I think the third one's probably going to be maybe, um, full cloth weapons. Yeah, I like that idea. <coughs> So, here's the, um, Crossbones Gundam itself. Um, I have on some of the alternate parts, like the, um, the chest piece right here. That's supposed to be a more kind of animated version. I just put it more realistic. Same with the head. With that. Um, because it had a little, um... Supposed to be, like, really sensitive. There's supposed to be a little dash here on the side of the head, but I got rid of it, seeing as how I'm, I never liked it, I kept getting loose, didn't want to super glue it down, so I got rid of it, um, uh, so yeah, uh, let's get on to articulation wise, head goes all the way around, um, forwards and back, side to side, um, Damn, yeah, stand up. Uh, cockpit opens. Um, arm goes all the way around. Without the core fighter. Arm goes at about that degree. Same with, um, high grade double O riser, I guess. GN sword. Um, I like the shoulder panels because it does this. So not only can you do this, but you can do this. So yay! Do not hear anything. <laughs> Do not hear anything. Um, it goes around like that. At that point, and yeah, at that point, um, it goes up about that high. Uh, what else? Um, pretty good detail. I'm gonna say. Uh, let's see. Hands are the F ninety one esque kind of thing, or it's um okay. the thumb. It's the uh, thumb, finger on ball joint, and hinge for the other three. Uh, what else is there? Yeah. I think kind of reminds me of Victory Gundam, I guess. Um, side sir, it goes up that far, that far, without popping off, that far, so that's basically all you can go. That goes that far back, that far forward. Damn it. That far, ah, damn it. That far sideways. So that's about as far as it goes, then. 
Now I have the I have the weaponized side skirts on at the moment, and not the normal ones that come with the original, I guess. Um, leg articulation on that articulation that does that um does that um that's what uh, that does these are on little pegs so it got loose it got loose all right so yeah all that and everything um yeah. Uh now let's go on to the core fighter. I guess he's missing a beam saber. I haven't found it yet. I mean a hilt. But uh yeah, that's the core fighter. Cockpit opens reveals a little person inside. Um does that does that for each of them. And has a little thing like that. And the most stickers on this kit is on these little yellow thrusters on here. I could paint those, but I do not trust my painting skills at the moment. So, in order to dock this, you have to flip these up. Oh, I think it's already in docking mode. Um, let me just see if I have this correct. Sorry, I'm doing the large X without you. Basically do that, I guess. And just plug him into the back. You might hear a little click. That's a good thing. And there you have it. Crossbone Gundam. You can tell why it's called Crossbone Gundam, because of the big X. I got the four thrusters. Um, so there's that. He comes with... um. Two standard weapons, which is this, which I believe is called the Beam Cavalier Sword. That's what I call it, at least. Yeah! Um, yeah, that thing tends to pop off a lot. Because it's not a very strong peg. Uh, what else? Come on. So there's that. Um, he comes with a, um, blunderbuss, I guess, that does this, which is much more... Here, let me basically show you how he holds it. Well, like... Now, he can hold it like this, in which you can do this, or you can have him hold it like this, which is more along the lines of... Yeah, you can't get much. Shua! <laughs> kind of sucks like that. Almost out of time. Um, and, uh, he also comes with the beam sabers with beam hilts, uh, shield, which I've already broken. Um, two of these things, which basically what you can do is if you have the weapon eye side switch, you can take them off. Um, open them up like this. And there's a little end piece that fits over the peg, and a little peg piece that goes into the hole. And you can act like he's shooting it out. Pew! So that's that. Um. He also has these things called the beam brands. Which are X's, and that's it. And he has little knives that I'm gonna do in the next video. In the back of his leg. Well, what you can do with these two is you can flip this down, flip that up, flip this around, combine it to have a kind of buster rifle ish. Buster rifle esque weapon. But it's like, it's pretty cool. Um, sadly, he has to hold like this, so it's out to the side. And I am out of time. So, um, next review is probably going to be full cloth and more detail for the weapons on this one. So, yep, thanks for watching. Bye.